During our meeting, we took stock of priority areas, including the full implementation of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, or EDCA, by completing the ongoing projects as well as the agreement to designate new sites where EDCA agreement agreed locations may be developed. Uh, in terms of the EDCA uh, locations, I just want to be clear that you know, we don't, we're not seeking permanent basing in the Philippines. As you heard us say in our statements here, uh, EDCA, EDCA is a cooperative agreement that uh, enables uh, rotational activities. And so it's a key pillar of our training and, and uh, opportunities for, uh, to strengthen our interoperability. And it also provides us the ability to uh, respond effectively to um, humanitarian uh, issues and, and also uh, disaster relief uh, and, and other types of crises, not just for the Philippines, but uh, for the region throughout. We have agreed uh, uh, that uh, the, you know, the statement of the sites uh, will be concluded uh, once uh, we have already made uh, collaboration also with the local uh, communities. Because uh, when we you know, when we make announcements, uh, we need to you know, we need uh, to this uh, uh, local government, the governors, and also the local populace to be consulted. And the president wanted that uh, all of our actions should be consulted with our local governments. And we wanted also to to you know, to. To, to see that uh, these you know, disagreements of the four ETCA sites uh, will be finished soon. Considering that, uh, we are it is not about permanent basing, but it is a big deal. It's a really big deal uh, in that, uh, you know, it gives us, presents, provides us the opportunity again to interact a bit more uh, in an effective way.